in this video we are going to uh, discuss a topic from set theory and uh, uh, the topic will be difference of uh, two sets uh, how to shade them in a uh, Venn diagram when we have a universal set and two subsets so this is uh, the case that we are going to uh, basically uh, apply in Venn diagram as we have discussed earlier that a Venn diagram is uh, basically a diagram where we have a rectangle uh, which uh, represents a universal set and like this this rectangle represents uh, a universal set and we have circles in this rectangle to represent its subsets like we have circles in uh, this rectangle and these circles are subsets of this universal set now in uh, uh, question number one we are going to shade a minus b in a venn diagram suppose this is uh, our venn diagram and uh, uh, we have to shade the region uh, that represents a minus b now for that a minus b mean you are not going to include b in a a minus b means subtract b part from a now this is the circle for a this one and this part is overlapping here you have got a as well as you have got b so basically we are going to exclude this part from a because we have to subtract the part of b from a so if you are going to share this then this will be shaded like this uh, this one okay now this a is the this shaded part in yellow is the answer for a minus b because we have excluded the part of b which was coming in a so after excluding this part of b from a we are left with this part of a so the answer for a minus b is this yellow part now when we are going to shade b minus a in a venn diagram then you have to see that we have to subtract the portion of a uh, from b in a venn diagram now in this venn diagram this overlapping part is basically the part which is also part of a and we have to subtract this part from b we have to exclude this one from b uh, so if you if you have to share this uh, then the answer will be this one this part of b will be your answer for b minus a as we have subtracted the part of a this part which was overlapping with b so now we are left only with purely b there is no overlapping so this is this yellow part is the answer for b minus a now in the third part when we have to shade a minus b complement first of all shade a minus b uh, which will in which you will exclude this overlapping part this part overlapping part belongs to both a and b but we have to subtract part of b from a so this part uh, which is also a part of b this has to be subtracted uh, from the circle of a to get first of all a minus b so first of all excluding this part if you are going to exclude this part uh, no this uh, this part uh, this yellow one this is the answer for a minus b i have excluded the part of b uh, from a now this yellow part is a minus b but in this we have to shade a minus b complement mean the answer for a minus b that is this yellow part is only the answer for a minus b for a minus b complement you have to shade all the region other than this yellow part which is a minus b 
because you are going to take complement of a minus b so complement includes all the region other than a minus b so we have to shade all the region other than this part yellow part which shows a minus b so shading the other region by green so all the region other than this yellow part which is basically a minus b this part outside a minus b is showing a minus b complement so this is the answer for a minus b complement this green part while this yellow is a minus b so this was the basic concept of uh, uh, the shading of difference of two sets uh, uh, while working in my diagram in my uh, next lessons uh, i will be definitely discussing more complicated cases uh, are related to shading of complements, union and intersection as well as difference of two sets. Thank you so much.